Let's talk apps, not Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Let's talk about apps like After School, House Party, and BitLife. You're probably not as familiar with those, but it's so easy for your kids to download free apps, and they may not realize the risks involved. Yeah, some sites expose, expose kids to violence, nudity, even potential predators. Kim Gable has a look at how several groups are trying to heighten that awareness. The channels of communication have changed. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Apps that power social media sites make companies billions by enticing kids to share, snap, post, and tweet information and images. And some accounts expose too much. Experiencing new things, meeting new people, but you don't know who they are or what they're all about. Very scared at first to... Um, even have one or let anyone see anything because I heard all those horror stories. Judge Ron Arnone has heard many of those stories as legislators create new laws to prosecute those who use technology to bully, harass, and violate. I could see a couple cases a week. So the district magistrate for Bethel Park in Upper St. Clair is taking his message from the courtroom to local schools. Uh, the reason why we're here today is for you guys. Teaming up with Brad Kilmeyer on the LEAD program. Assemblies aimed at helping kids and families make better decisions. And social media is a big component. There's so many great ways to use it, but we just we can't let it be something that defeats us. It is a scary place out there, and we want to make people aware of those facts, those sets of facts. And I see it in my courtroom, you know, with uh, predators and people trying to prey upon our, our kids at all ages. They want the consequences of sharing too much to heighten awareness. Like stalkers and how how vulnerable you are on social media, especially Snapchat or Facebook with the geotag. Geotagging on apps like Snapchat can pinpoint your real-time location. Arnone urges users to disable that feature. I can send like a, a filter that has like my location, but really that's the only people that I'll ever share that with, yeah. which is people that I know to, and I talk to like on a daily basis. And the emergence of new apps for teens means parents need to stay on top of their tech. Have you heard of After School, Ask FM, Hala, House Party, or Bego Live? Research studies single these out as potentially dangerous applications. Kick is also high on those lists. No age verification makes it easier for cyber bullies and sexual predators to target juveniles. And the Attorney General's office is aggressively targeting those predators. It is an ongoing battle, knowing what's out there, how it's being used, but we're one of the best and, and we're up for it. Kim Gable, KDKA News. And we have a complete list of what experts consider the most dangerous apps at KDKA.com. And next hour, more of Kim's special report.